Hi, if you are a developer and you have created lots of web services and looking forward to create an iPhone app based on native Swift 3 language, then you are at the right place. I have created this template for you so that you can create a login system for your web service in just a few steps. This particular app will save you at least 60 to 80 working hour. Now let me show you how it will help you out. I have created it with really possible easiest way for you. You can just supply your API URLs easily into this config file, your error messages, your success messages and then this app will take care of everything. This app consists of three different areas. First one where your user will land is the login screen. There you got register button link with your register page and your forward password link with your forward password page. I have made sure that there is a protected page which is only accessible when the user is logged in or the session is checked for the user that he has logged in before and hasn't been logged out yet. Now let's have a look how it feels in real time. So here we are. This is how our app loads up for the first time when you build and run your Swift 3 application on your simulator. So the first screen your user will be shown is your login screen. You do see that there is a forward password link here and a register. Let's start with the register. You see, the email address is already accessed. This alert is coming back from the API. It's not natively provided inside the app. It's coming from the server. Now let me change the email address here. Let's try again. And here we go, registration successful. Thank you. Okay, and it shows again the login screen. Now let's try to log in with that email and password. I desperately typed a wrong password. And here we go, wrong username or password. Then I typed the right password. But as you know, I haven't confirmed my email address, that's why it's showing me this error. But it's all configured online. Now let me log in with an email address and password, which has been already approved. Here we go, we are on our dashboard. Now let's see how the logout functionality works. Here we go, we are on the logout page. Now, let's have a look about the forward password. If I type a string and just click on it, it shows me, please make sure your email is valid. There is email validation there. Let me type an email. Just correct. Oh, I will type over here. Reset password. Here we go, we send an email with reset password instruction. Amazing. Go back and then reset it. Now, let's have a look if we log in and then shut down the app and then restart it. Will our state of user logged in is maintained there or not? Let's have a look. I'm logged in and I am on the dashboard. Now let me close the app. Let me restart it.
and you notice I am on dashboard. I was not shown the login view controller and that's because I have made sure that it's all been handled for you. Thank you very much for having a look. Uh, I think this will make easy to understand that you can save lots of your working hours by just adapting this template. Thank you.